Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I created this crazy look for you guys today. Came out really nice. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my video. Let me know what you want to see next. Feedback is welcome, just no negative feedback, you know, because we don't got time for no haters, you know. So yeah, if you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. So as always, we're going to jump right in using the Max Painterly Paint Pot as a primer for our eyelids. My eyelids look a little stained because I did use face paint and I did record it so you'll see that in another video. So of course we're going to sweep this all over our eyelids to get rid of any discoloration and act as a good base for our eyeshadows. Then we're just setting our eyeshadow primer with a cream color eyeshadow. I'm adding scotch tape to the edge of my eyes. This just helps me to get a cleaner edge. Jumping right in with the Juvia's Place Zulu palette, I'm going to take the purple shade in the palette, which is a very beautiful purple shade. I love this color. I'm going to run this in the crease very nicely because the look I'm doing today is very precise and requires a lot of blending. When I tell you I have never done so much blending with an eye look before, <laughs> I swear I was blending for like... 30 minutes on just one eye but it came out really good <laughs> I just went ahead and did the other eye off camera and here I am again still blending so now I'm going to go in with any concealer that I have I just happen to have the Maybelline Age Rewind. I'm going to take a very small detailed brush and I'm going to do what they call cut the crease. This just cleans up the crease and it makes it cleaner for you to lay other eyeshadows down. And that way the other eyeshadows that you lay down will pop and you know be very bright. Stuff like that. Now I'm just taking a blue eyeshadow and placing this on the outer part of the eyelids only. The blue that I'm using is from the Lunar Beauty Life's a Drag palette. Only because the Zulu palette did not have the blue that I was looking for. Now with the NYX Ultimate Brights eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take the green color that they have in there and place it right next to the blue on each side of the lid this is kind of like a halo look if you want to call it that but just to give you an idea of what look we're going for it's kind of like a halo look you want to blend this a little bit over the blue and then a little bit further past the blue just so it's blended and nice and seamless so you don't just see blue and green like you want it to be nicely blended and melted in with each other Then I'm going to take the yellow shade in the Zulu palette and place this directly in the middle next to the green. Blend it over towards the green. That way again it looks blended and melted together to get that halo effect. Then I'm going to take this NYX eyeliner and just line my upper lid, no wing or anything, just a thin line of eyeliner just to blend our falsies in. Then I am taking my favorite mascara, which is Tarte Lights Camera Lashes, and just putting a thin coat of mascara because I am going to be wearing false eyelashes, so no need to build it up or anything, just a thin coat. I decided to take a break with my eyes and go in with my face. I'm going to use this Dr. Brandt No More Baggage Eye Primer or whatever it is. It's supposed to depuff your eyes. It came in my BoxyCharm. I don't know. I don't know if it works or not. I just wanted to put used to it because why not? <laughs> 
Then I'm going to take this L'Oreal. I think it's Pro Glow Primer. This primer is so bomb. Like, it made my skin look so doll-like. I love it. I got it in my makeup swap with a friend of mine on Instagram. And she picked it out. I was like, wow, this is such a good product. I would definitely be repurchasing this. <laughs> And then while I let the primer sit, I'm going to take these eyelashes and just apply them off camera. And then I'm going to take my foundation, which is the CoverGirl foundation and the Maybelline Stay All Day. I mix them together just to get like a perfect color. One's too pink and one's too yellow. So if I mix them together, it's like the perfect combo. Then I'm just taking a Real Technique sponge and blending that in. I love sponges. I love the way it makes my foundation look. I use my sponge all the time. I never, ever, ever use a brush. Next, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I'm taking the pinker shade and then the lighter white shade. I'm highlighting my under eyes, down the bridge of my nose, and my chin. And just taking the same sponge and blending that out I take the two shades that are in the middle to contour with I don't know I just like cream contouring I feel like it lasts longer than just powder I don't know anybody else feel that way because I do it looks like a lot, but when it blends out, you can barely tell. So that's why I'm heavy with it, just because I feel like it doesn't really show unless I use this amount. Then I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Concealer, just placing this under my eyes, under my chin, pretty much everywhere where I put the white shade in the Anastasia palette, just because I wanted to add more coverage. And I wanted to clean up my cheekbones, you know, get that little crisp line, you know, girl, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. And I'm just setting that with this Maybelline Fit Me powder. This powder is bomb. I'm not really too picky with my powders. A powder is a powder in my book, so this is just what I'm using currently. I got so carried away I was about to add blush before my bronzer <laughs> but then I went in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is really nice. Um, I'm on the fence about it because I feel like it kind of does look too orange for my skin but you know then again I make it work. Just blend 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 and everything will work for you girl. Trust me. Now we can finally add blush. I'm taking this peach color blush that came in the BoxyCharm. I don't know what shade it is. I'll leave it in the link that, or the description down below, of course. And I'm just showing you I do my eyebrows off camera. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder. Then I'm going to take the same exact colors that I use on my lids, so the blue and the green, and putting them in my waterline. Then I'm taking this House of Mirror ColourPop palette. I'm taking the highlighter shade in the palette and highlighting. This is my first time using it. Uh, it's okay. I noticed later on in the day it faded off, which I do not like that. But I guess I can make it work if I'm just lounging around the house or something. I'm just jamming out. I love listening to music and doing my makeup. <laughs> and just because I'm extra, I thought that highlighter was enough. So I decided to add the Rihanna Fenty Beauty highlighter on top of that one. Just because, you know, I'm extra. I like to pop with the highlight girl. 
Then I'm going to apply my NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Beige. This is my right hand man lip liner. I never use any other lip liner no matter what lip color I'm using. And to top it off, I'm using this Dose of Colors lipstick in the shade Blush, I think. If not, I'm going to leave it in the description below, of course. This is a bomb lipstick, honestly. Once again, I stepped out of my comfort zone. Really bomb, actually. Get some close up. Love it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.